Hey everyone, welcome guys, welcome, welcome. Hey, let's go over the markets. Um, you guys should see my screen here. Welcome everyone, welcome. All right. Um, the Dow is still in the markdown phase, so let's take a look at that. All right, right here, red candles. All right, so sell short signal, still in the markdown phase. All right, so I just remember that. All right, hey Betty, welcome. So we're still in the markdown phase. All right. All right. Here is the um the Russell. The Russell actually broke support today, guys. So Russell broke support right here. Right here, broke support, pull back a bit. All right, but still in the markdown phase. All right. So the market is still in trouble. All right. Hey, Solomon. Welcome, Solomon. Welcome. All right. All right. Uh, also, uh, the S&P. All right. S&P. All right. S still in the markdown phase. Sell signal. And then um, on the NASDAQ, we do have um, green candles on the NASDAQ. Um, it's the only index uh, with uh, green candles. All right, we'll take a look at that. All right. Hey, Joe, welcome, Joe, welcome, welcome. All right. All right. All right. One second here. You're getting some back background noise. Please help me there with your background noise. All right. All right. So this is the S and P. All right. Uh, one second here. Okay. And then here, Nasdaq. All right, green candles here in the Nasdaq. All right, so just be careful, guys. All right, be careful. Um, the VIX is at 22. All right, so we still have volatility still above. Anytime the VIX is above 20, that is definitely a concern. All right, uh, futures are down, uh, down to flat right here. All right, the dollar index, we still have a sell signal in the dollar. All right, so... Right here is the dollar index. Okay, so right, the market was up today. All right, all right. Uh, futures. We are seeing buy and continue. In silver, guys, silver, we know we have a buy signal on gold, but silver is starting to move higher. We'll keep an eye on silver, all right? If we get a buy signal um, on silver, we'll let you know, let you guys know, all right? We already have a buy signal um, in gold, but silver, this is all silver here, is starting to move higher, all right? Um, nothing new. Um, with the shorts, we are seeing lean hog continuing to move lower, a lot lower, guys. Look at these trades, these short trades here in hog, just a complete collapse, right? All right. So if anyone got, got, went short lean hog, doing really, really well. All right. All right. Big moves to the downside. This is on the daily time frame here. All right. For hog. All right. That's the best short going right now. All right. And also crude oil, right? We are short in crude oil. We'll go over, we'll go over that. All right. Crude oil. Uh, right here. Crude oil short is still holding. All right. Um, as far as uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin is looking really good. All right. Um, is back up at 28,000. You guys know we have a buy signal here on Bitcoin on the daily time frame. All right. Um, we also have a buy signal on the weekly time frame. 
Um, but Bitcoin looks really good to break this resistance right here, guys. It's right here at resistance right here. And this candle right here, it's on the daily time frame, looks to break through um, resistance. Okay. All right. So, and again, as Bitcoin moves higher or as the market moves higher, the market, you know, moves higher. Bitcoin. Um, now, Bitcoin has been a barometer for the equity markets. All right. So recently. So if Bitcoin moves higher, we could see the equity markets move higher. Okay. But like I said, NASDAQ is, is you know, all green candles, but it's mixed. All right. One day we up big, the next day we down big. So it's it's really mixed right now. But Bitcoin is looking good. All right. Uh, let's go through the trades in Monster Systems uh, Tracker. All right. So let's go through the trades. Uh, we'll start with uh, Monster Scalper. All right. And you guys know we trade Monster Scalper Forex on a 240-minute time frame, so forward time frame. All right. Um, let's start with EURAUD. So Euro Aussie. All right. Euro Aussie, guys. We have a buy signal. All right. Buy signal. And right here, still holding, holding nicely. All right. Hopefully we can get a move overnight. All right. Green candles, buy signal here. All right. Breaking resistance here. Nothing to do. All right. So if you guys are in it, just hold it. Uh, Euro CAD, buy signal is here. All right, we got new support and resistance lines. Pay attention to your systems, guys. Okay, don't just randomly get in or randomly get out. Pay attention to your system, uh, especially when you have new support and resistance lines come in. Holding support here, green candles. Hopefully, it goes uh, goes higher, test resistance, and move even higher. So EuroCAD, EURHKD. All right, buy signal was here. Good trade going pull back a bit, all right, but still holding. Euro SGD, we should be out of this. So if anyone traded EUR SGD, we should be out. Red candle, we're out. Whenever we get a red candle, we should be out. EUR SGD, we'll remove that, all right. EUR TRY. All right, buy signal is right here, still green candles, all right? If you're in it, just watch it. No white candles, no red candles, no sell signal, so just watch it, all right? Um, Euro dollar, buy signal was here, pulled down a bit, retraced here, but still holding, all right? Uh, Euro czar, all right? On the 240, we have a sell signal, red candles, we should be out, all right? So Euro czar. All right, I know Din is holding that. Din isn't here. Um, on the um, on in Forex Dominator, do not have a sell signal yet in Forex Dominator, but definitely, um, we need to be out on the 240. Uh, pound Aussie, um, it's looking good. Buy signal is here, guys. Look here, We're getting ready to break resistance, testing resistance right here. All right, look at that right here. That's really encouraging, right. Higher highs, I mean, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs. Resistance is right here, right? Green candles looking to break the resistance. If you guys didn't get in, if you're not in this trade here, this is still okay, right? You're not far from the buy signal, which is here, all right? So still okay to get into that one. Pound Aussie, all right? Um, pound CAD, same thing, uh, but this one here has gone up a bit more, so I wouldn't get into this one, but same thing, right? Buy signal is right here, all green candles moving higher. Here's new resistance here, looking to test and break through um, the resistance there, and that's um, pound CAD. Uh, pound New Zealand, retraced a bit, all right, retraced. Uh, white candles, we got a green candle. This is a very bullish sign, all right? All right, green candle right here, all right? Um, if you guys have, if you did not get into this one here, here is the buy signal right here. Here it is right here, green candle coming in. Very bullish, guys, very bullish sign, all right? All right, um, and that's GBP. Pound New Zealand, GBP, NZD. 
All right. Um, pound SGD, right? Exit, sell signal, red candles, broke support right here. So if anyone is in this, we've got down right here. So anyone in it is in this, we need to get out. All right. All right. Let's take a look at the shorts in Monster Scalper. The shorts in Monster Scalper. All right. Let's take a look at those. Uh, we didn't have a lot of action in um, uh, in Forex today. Uh, but let's see here. We'll see if we've got any new opportunities. All right. So let's take a look at the shorts. Uh, so New Zealand yen, all right, in Forex Dominator, red candles, right? Sell short signal, looking to test support. So that's still good. We'll hold on to that. All right. Um, USD DKK. All right. Dollar index is still holding short. Right. So that should help the put the, the shorts to the downside. All right. And the dollar pair. So USD DKK. Right. Still holding its short position here. And USD NOK still holding short position. No support and resistance lines, guys. OK, here's the sell short signal right here. No support and resistance line, so we'll let that continue um, to, to move lower. All right, all right. So those are the trades in uh, Monster Scalper. All right. Uh, as far as uh, Forex Dominator. All right. So you guys know in Forex Dominator. Look at this is gold here, guys. Gold is really making a move higher. All right. And silver, like I said, silver looks to follow gold. All right. Um, EuroCAD in Forex Dominator, buy signal was here, had a bit of a pullback holding nicely. All right. EuroCAD holding nicely. All right. Broke resistance here. Uh, Euro um, CZK. All right. We got to get out. If anyone was trading this, we got to get out of that red candle here. All right. So, red candle, we should be out of that. All right. Uh, EURSGD, right? Green candle coming in here. Buy signal was here. So that one is still holding, right? EURTRY holding their resistance here. Buy signal is here. It's still holding. Um, dollar CAD, right? We talked about this last night. Just be careful. If anyone is trading this, the dollar pairs are trying to make a move down. It is surprisingly dollar CAD is still holding. In Forex Dominator, green candles here. So just hold on. But I would say you get a white candle, get out. Don't wait on a red candle. All right. Um, pound, um, pound CAD, buy signal was here, looking, trading nicely, um, looking to break resistance right here. Um, so it's looking to break resistance, and we could see a move higher. We'll say about right here. All right. Here's the buy signal moving up nicely here. That's pound CAD. All right, pound CAD. Uh, pound SGD, right? Buy signal is here, and it's still holding right here. All right, um, pound SGD. All right, that's your Singapore dollar. All right, um, let's take a look at shorts in Forex Dominator. And we've got quite a few shorts going. All right, so Aussie CAD short, that's still holding. We need sellers to come in, guys. So if anyone is in it, just be patient. We need sellers to come in, right? Uh, red candles to come in here. Aussie Swiss, right? Um, sell short signal here, right? This was a concern, right, when the price got to here. But notice sellers came in and uh, been coming in for the last uh, two or three days, right? Two or three days, four days. All right. So we need the same thing for Aussie CAD. We need sellers to come back in. All right. Push that price lower. All right. Aussie New Zealand. All right. Sell short signal here. Trading right here. We need that. Um, we need the price to break support. We got pretty good support coming in here. All right. So hold on to it. Uh, Aussie dollar. Uh, same thing. We got support here. We need sellers to come back in. 
push that price even lower. Uh, New Zealand Swiss, um, that's holding. We had sellers come in, right? With that white candles, sellers came back in, so continue to hold it. Um, Aussie yen, right? Um, we got sellers to come back in. Sell short signal was here. Price is all the way down here. We look for it to break the low, the low right here. All right, guys. Uh, Aussie yen moving nicely, exactly what we wanted to do. And um, same with uh, CAD yen. All right. Price is coming down. Red candles. We need to break um, uh, support. Yellow line right here. This is the support. All right. We need to break it. All right. Um, Swiss yen. All right. So sell short signal. Red candles coming back in. We need sellers. That's the theme. We need sellers coming back down, pushing that price lower. All right. Breaking the lows. And uh, same thing with um, SGD, JPY, yen. All right. That's your Singapore yen. All right. White candle, red candles are coming back in. Right. Be patient with these. Right. All right. Especially in Forex Dominator. All right. Be patient with these red candles are coming back in. Hopefully break through uh, the lows here. All right. All right. I, I think that's it we've got for Forex Dominator. All right. So um, we only had one we had to remove. Okay. Everything else is holding nicely. All right. Um, here is uh, the gold trade. Hey, Mary. Welcome, Mary. Uh, welcome, Mary. Welcome. Uh, here's the gold trade. Gold trade holding nicely. Buy signal is here and it's moving up nicely. All right. And uh, we'll see. We'll, if we get any buy signals on silver, we'll let you guys know. Okay. So gold is long. All right. In the in um, monster futures. All right. And as far as the shorts. All right, we've got the S&P short, all right? And that's holding, all right? That's holding right here. Hopefully we get some more selling to come in. That market, so right now the equity markets is so unpredictable, okay? Um, but we'll continue to hold it, all right? Um, we looked at Bitcoin riot in stock boss. Let's see what that did, all right? So markets is up a bit today. And so Riot made a move. Buy signal was here on 777. And here it is at 9, 947. So we'll continue to hold Riot, right, in Stock Boss. All right. And um, uh, uh, Bull Master, ENVX, ENVX. All right. Um, buy signal is holding, right? Um, green candles, so we'll continue to hold it. If we get white candles, we'll close these guys. All right, we really should not be trading stocks, but um, you know, with some days, it you know, we get these up days, so we can we'll take a, a little bit of a risk. Okay, all right, let's take a look at um, what we might have available in Monster Scalper Long. All right, so Monster Scalper Long. All right, on the 240, let's just run through these quickly. We didn't have a, a, a lot of activity today, but you never know. All shorts, the yen pairs. We know the dollar pairs are all shorts. Yeah. I don't think we'll have much today. This evening. I think we're in I think we're in this one already. Euro, Euro, um 
Yeah, EuroCAD win EuroCAD already. All right. All right, so EuroCAD looks good, guys. All right. And, and EuroCAD, Euro Aussie, Euro Aussie. Let's see here. So Euro, EuroCAD, Euro Aussie. So Windows already. All right. Let's take a look at shorts. Like I said, I don't think we have much this evening. So the yen pairs, nothing there. Those trades have been going for a while. All right, we'll add dollar czar short. All right, so dollars are short in monster scalper. All right, so USD czar in monster scalper, guys. All right. So right here, we've got a sell short signal right here that came in earlier this morning, all right? Sell short signal, and we've got pretty good support here. And with the dollar pairs, dollar index moving lower, dollar pairs moving lower, all right? We could get the, the a push lower with the dollar czar, USD czar, okay? So sell short signal here. Now, the two prior sell short signals failed. Okay, so I wouldn't go heavy, but it could break through this time. All right, so here is resistance. Here is resistance right here. All right, so here is your box. Here is your box, and we just need the price to break through. If you guys get in it, you might want to, you know, wait for more confirmation. So right now it is trading at 18.10. You might want it to get down to about 18.03, all right? So probably down in this area, get more confirmation that it's breaking uh, support, all right? But we'll go ahead and add it, all right? We'll go ahead and add it. Uh, USD czar, all right? USD czar. If you trade it, trade it lightly, but we could get a break. All right, USD SGD. All right, USD SGD. That's already in a good short. I did we miss this one? I know there was one we missed. Um, yeah, we did miss that one. Um, USD. Okay. Why? All right. So good short here going USD SGD, all right? Um, USD SEK, not a very good chart here. Uh, USD PLN, short going in here. USD NOK, we're in this one here, this short right here, all right? USD MXN, all right? Uh, USD HUF, a lot of the dollar pairs, guys, are breaking down, right? Nothing here, all right? We're in this one also, USD DKK, all right, short, all right? USD CNH, all right, nothing here. And then dollar uh, dollar CAD, right? We're not trading this one here. If you guys, if anyone is trading this, just be careful. You got green candles coming in here. All right. Uh, Euro. Let's see here. Euro czar. So we've added dollar czar so far. 
short. All right. We'll add this one here. Let me make sure if we E U R N O K. E U R N O K. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, we're not in this one. So you will add E U R N O K short. All right. Now let me show you guys here. Really good. This is a good short setup. All right, so here was your long, right? B bought here on a break of resistance, okay? Sold here, got out here on a break of support, right? Bought here, sold here for a nice trade. Broke support right here, red candles, sell short signal right here, all right? So this is a decent short, so we'll add it, okay? So E U R N O K, and that's short. And that's in Monster Scalper, all right? So short in Monster Scalper. Let's remove this. All right. Just getting out of the, the mark, uh, just getting out of uh, distribution, getting into the markdown phase. Hold on. All right. Okay. And that's E U R N O K. E U R H U F, that's gone. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. All right, that's gone. You can't trade all of them, just find one or two guys. All right. Keep an eye on pound czar. Keep an eye on pound czar. We could get a sell short signal soon on here. All right. All right. That's all we've got there. Let's take a quick look at Forex Dominator. Forex Dominator longs. All right. Forex Dominator longs. Nothing here. Not much today, guys. Not much today. Euro CAD, we're in that one. Euro Aussie. Um, and keep an eye on pound dollar, right? Pound dollar. Uh, that could give a buy signal soon. I think we're in pound CAD. Let me double check here. Pound CAD. Yes, we're in pound CAD already. All right. Pound CAD. Pound Aussie. I think we're in pound Aussie. Um, are we in pound Aussie? We are not in pound Aussie. Okay. All right. So pound Aussie, boy, that's that's past that's past the buy signal right here. But this looks really, really good. But too late to get in, guys. Too late to get in. It's breaking through that resistance. Right here, that resistance line. So this should this looks really, really good, pound Aussie. But we've got pound CAD. All right. We've, we're in pound CAD. This is in 4X Dominator. Let's take a quick look at the shorts. New shorts. And then we'll be done. We'll have a short evening. 
Uh, we don't have a lot of opportunities this evening. So we already have uh, quite a few shorts, right? We have four Aussie shorts, right? In Forex Dominator and four yens, one New Zealand. Okay, so we look for new opportunities in Forex Dominator short. All right, so let's see. In that one. All right, um, keep an eye on uh, dollar yen. We talked about this one last night. It's getting ready to break support here, guys. So we could get a, 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 um, a, a sell short signal overnight if it breaks through uh, this support. So keep an eye on it, all right, dollar yen. And we'll check it, we'll check it again on Sunday. If it, if it gives a sell short signal, um, we'll send that out to our Forex. Uh, dominator traders, all right? Keep an eye on it, all right? It's getting ready to break support here, all right? So that's dollar again. All right, same thing with TRY, JPY, all right? All right, moving lower here, we could get a sell short signal, TUR, JPY. All right. uh, same thing with, these are setting up. To go short, guys. All right, setting up nicely. All right, um, HKD JPY. All right, looking to break support here. All right, support here, and possibly give a sell short signal. Pound yen, nothing there. Euro yen, nothing there. Swiss yen. Um, we're in this one. We need sellers to come in, push that price lower. Uh, CAD yen, CAD yen looking really good here, getting ready to break support here. Looks like, uh, CAD yen, yes, we're in CAD yen, we're in CAD yen. So, um, so hopefully this will break uh, support here, all right. And it's got pretty good support. If you guys look here, it's got pretty good support. Yeah, so we just need sellers to come in, break through that support, guys. But sell short signal is here, right? We've issued a peak on that already. So need sellers to come in, break through, and hopefully get another round, you know, run like this to the markdown phase. All right. All right. And then um, Aussie yen, Aussie yen, I believe we're in this one also. Let's double check. Uh, yes, Aussie yen right here. All right, so that's a pick. So stay with the yen pairs short, guys. Short. All right, yen pairs short. So here is Aussie yen, right? Sell short signal was here, right? Moving down nicely, right? Lower, lower highs, lower lows. That's what we want. All right. All right. And those are all the shorts. All right, those are all the shorts we've got. All right. Um, I want to show you guys, we'll be done here. All right, I want to show you guys on the weekly time frame, the Dow. And this is where we are in the Dow, right? The Dow, we're still trading between a pretty tight support and resistance. All right. So if we, we bring this up here and we'll continue to keep an eye on this. All right. So this is where we are, guys. All right. Since uh, 2022 to now, right, almost a, almost a year and a half, we stuck between support and resistance. All right. So this is a critical point. We're at support right now on the Dow, on the weekly time frame. All right, so we really need the Dow to break through support. We, we need it to, to break, just break through out of this area, right? Either break through support 
or breakthrough resistance, all right? If it breaks through resistance, all right? If it breaks through resistance, right? Right? We could get another move like this. That's unlikely because right now we're testing support, right? So um, we look for the price to perhaps break through support and then test. We've got we've got more support down here. This is just a really difficult market. All right. Um, we've got more support. So even if it breaks down through here, guys, we have support here, right? Where traders could hold support. And that's pretty good support. And that's at the Dow 30. The Dow 30, which is which is pretty good support. And that's a psychological number for traders, too. All right. So the Dow 30. Right now it's at the Dow is at 32,000. Dow 30 is right here. Okay, so very, very, even if the even if the market goes lower, right, it could get stopped here. All right. Um, and all this means is that we don't have any trends, right? Even if it breaks through here, then you've got a lot of support in here. All right. And then even if it breaks through there, we've got a lot of support down in this area right right here okay so um ideally we would like to see the market you know move up to the upside break resistance starts trending again right any 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 movement right if it makes another leg down it's going to be choppy choppy trading even short even shorts so puts will be difficult and i you know, puts will be difficult. Shorting for sure would be difficult. Uh, you know, we might have to go to uh, a monster ETF, find some short ETFs, okay, where that we could trade long. But, you know, any uh, any of this, right, um, will be very, very rocky. Ideally, if we can break through this consolidation, if you guys look here, this consolidation here happened before. Hold on. So if we do this here. All right, this consolidation happened. Look at this. From 2018. As a matter of fact, let's do this. We bring it to the sales signal here. All right. All right. So look at this. It's on a weekly time frame. And we'll, we'll bring in one more. And we'll end with this. Uh, but this is good to see. <clears throat> All right. So from 2000, middle of 2015, middle of 2015 to 16, so uh, about a year, a lot of consolidation here, right? No buy signal, right? No buy signal for about a year and a half. Then we got a buy signal and then the market trended right here. From 2016, middle of 2016 till about 2019, right? The market got into a nice trend and then from 2019 to about 2021 right it went into a consolidation again this buy signal here failed all right wasn't until 2021 right started trending again all right started trending again got a buy signal here and then got a nice trend here so here was a good trend from 2016 to 2019 all right and this was easy money to be made right because the market is trending here it consolidated again similar to here and then here we trended again and now we're consolidating again and we've been consolidating for a little over a year and a half all right almost like this here all right so consolidation trend consolidation trend all right so just think accumulation markup 
accumulation, markup. Now we're in that accumulation phase, or could be distribution. All right. If it breaks support, that's distribution. Breaks resistance, that's accumulation. All right. So just remember, that's what the market is doing right now. So expect a lot of choppiness until we get out of this. All right. If we break down, right, sellers come in, we break down through these levels here, um, then guess what? We are not in the trend anymore. So if we draw a trend line, if we draw a trend line right here, you guys will see, and I'll change it to different color. I know sometimes when we trade in, it's hard to, when we trade in day by day, it's hard to tell what the, the environment that we're in. All right. But guess what? We're still in a nice markup phase, overall mar nice markup phase on the market, right? We just need the price to break the resistance and then start trending again. If it breaks to this trend line, right? So if it comes down here, breaks through this trend line, break through these levels, um, then the market is in trouble. All right. Serious trouble. All right. So that hasn't happened yet. All right. It's still holding support here. And then again, we have more support here, but um, uh, very choppy. So expect a uh, continued choppiness. All right. Any questions on this? This is just big picture, right? Big macro, but it's good if you guys, if we if we move this here, you guys will notice that the market is in in, in a nice up um, upward trend. All right, this is your think of this trend line here as your support, where prices will bounce, right? Bounce, right? Bounce, right? So it could bounce. Buyers could come back in and bounce, but if you look here. And I promise we'll be done. If you guys look here, price is being squeezed. All right, so price is being squeezed right here. All right, so you have a triangle building right here on the markets. All right, forget what we hear on the news, right? Just follow your price action, right? Follow your price action. All right, so price is being squeezed right here, right here. So it's got to break out, right? It's gonna, it has to break out. Now it can continue to consolidate, right? See how it's getting narrow? It's narrowing right in here. So it, can, it could continue to narrow, right? Consolidate tightly and then break out. It has to break out, right? Either to the upside, right? Break out to the upside or break out to the downside. Okay. So just expect some, some consolidation. It's, that's all it's doing, right? That's all it's doing. It's consolidating, right? A lot of indecision, a lot of indecision. So um, no, that's the equity markets. That's the equity markets. Okay. But just see here, it's, it's it has a point here and price is just getting smaller and smaller and smaller, right? And then it has to break out, finally break out to the upside or to the downside. Hopefully the trend is up. So that's encouraging, right? The trend is up. So generally, right, when the trend is up, right, the bias is to the upside, right? So the bias is to the upside. If the trend was down, right, then the bias would be to the downside. All right, little education here. All right, all right, guys, I will see you guys on Sunday. All right, have a good weekend. All right, uh, if you're trading, if you're taking trades, just trade, especially in equities, right, trade lightly. All right, trade lightly. And I'll see you guys on Sunday. All right, take care. Bye-bye.